Hello, I'm Priscilla Alvarez reporting for the News Feed. This is your Feed Update for Wednesday, October 15th. Health officials are looking for airline passengers who were on the same flight as a Texas nurse who was diagnosed with Ebola the next day. The 132 passengers were on Frontier Airlines Flight 1143 from Cleveland to Dallas-Fort Worth on Monday. The hospital worker was involved in the care of a Liberian man who died of Ebola last week at a Texas Health Presbyterian Hospital in Dallas. The airplane's crew said the nurse had no symptoms of Ebola during the flight, but the next morning she developed a fever and on Tuesday night tested positive for Ebola. Infected Ebola patients are not considered contagious until they have symptoms. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is still asking the passengers to call the health agency so they can be monitored. Federal prosecutors are opposing a request from former Virginia Governor Bob McDonnell and his wife Maureen for a new trial on public corruption charges. Prosecutors filed a motion Tuesday with U.S. District Judge James Spencer, saying the request is without merit. Spencer provided over the nearly six-week trial that ended September 4th when the jury convicted Bob McDonnell on 11 accounts and his wife on 9. Following the trial, the McDonnells asked to be acquitted or granted a new trial because they contended prosecutors failed to prove they performed any official acts. For former Star Scientific CEO John Williams, the McDonald's were convicted of accepting more than $165,000 in gifts and loans from Williams in exchange for promoting his company's dietary supplements. Virginia Governor Terry McAuliffe is planning to lay off 565 state workers and raise the prices of distilled spirits at state-owned liquor stores as he aims to close a state budget shortfall. McAuliffe detailed his plans Wednesday as part of an effort by state officials to bridge a $2.4 billion budget gap. McAuliffe said most of the layoffs would come from the Department of Corrections, which will close multiple facilities. It also will delay the opening of a women's correctional center. The governor said he also plans to sell one of the Virginia State Police's planes and will not fill 27 out of 68 vacant state trooper positions. McAuliffe said the budget, the budget cuts were the most difficult experience of his term so far, but called the plan a sensible approach. And that is your news feed update for this Friday, Wednesday, October 15th. I'm Priscilla. Thanks for watching.